Hello friends, as we all know that NEET PG 2022 counseling session is about to happen from 15th September and differences between MD and DNB has always been a talk of town in every counseling session and I was exactly in the same situation three years ago so I will try to clear all your doubts in this video and so stay tuned and find out. So here comes the first thing, there are both advantages and disadvantages of both MD and DNB. depends on the institute you are choosing and branch you are choosing and as we all know that most of the PG aspirants prefer MD over DNB and they are right in many aspects as exposure in MD is really good and passing percentage of MD in all the, almost all medical colleges are 100% and it is easy to pass the exam as compared to DNB and you can easily get teaching posts like assistant professor jobs after passing MD. Now let's discuss about very few disadvantages of MD. If you choose MD from a peripheral institute then you might lack an exposure of cases and you might lack an exposure of big costly instruments like ventilator machines, eco machines, MRI, CT scan, PET scans. This can be disadvantage for you and there are bonds in almost every state which is of 2 years, 3 years or 5 years depending on the state and this can be a problem for you to service, to do service bond after your post graduation and it is difficult to get into your dream branch in MD so you might have to compromise your branch so these are the only few disadvantages of MD now let's talk about advantages of DNB if you do it from a big corporate hospital you will be exposed to more protocol based training and more latest equipments like eco machines and ventilators and all MRI and PET scans and uh, there will be no bond after coming after doing DNB there are very few institutes in which there is compulsory bond in DNB and, uh, and no professor can believe that he or she might fail you in the final exam because the exam will be given at the other center and uh, you will develop good communication skills as more VIP patients will be there and uh, DNB is more preferred in the foreign countries like UAE and UK as compared to MD. This is very important. Let's talk about the disadvantages of DNB. As it is done in the big corporate hospitals, there is no proper training and academics and consultants are busy in making money. No one will train you, no one will help you and hold you and no one will spoon feed you they will just tell some things about the uh, patients and they want their work to be perfect and especially in the surgical field it is very difficult to get hands on in the big corporate hospitals even in the I don't want to name the institute even in the very big institute of Delhi which is at the number one uh, I inquired at my time the exposure of orthopedics was almost very very less so before choosing a surgical field in DMB, you have to be very careful and even passing percentage of DMB is also a concern but it is improving day by day the last year passing percentage of orthopedics was 18% and this time it is around 30% and for medicine branches in my field general medicine it is around 60-70% so if you want to choose a DMB institute you have to be very careful and I would uh, like to request all of you Please visit the institute, inquire about the exposure, academics and uh, training, postings will be there or not, any OPD exposure will be there or not, please inquire about these things before taking the DNB. And uh, be very intelligent in making the right choice especially if you are choosing the surgical branches because in surgical branches hands on is much important. For medical branches you can get exposure to each and every case easily and there is no much need of hands on. You can easily get the lumbar punctures and uh, ascitic tappings, pleural tappings, intubations and all these procedures. I will come up with the more such videos. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and please comment all your doubts. I will be answering them soon. Till then, stay blessed, stay happy. See you in the next video.